Welcome everybody, we're doing another Ocarina of Time Randomizer Seed. We're gonna try out Triforce Hunt again, but unlike the first time where I had set minimal item pool, thinking that that was just minimal Triforce pieces, nope, that minimized basically the entire item pool and made it extremely difficult, and on top of which, <laughs> we had to check every single spot. That's not gonna be the case this time. We're gonna just try for a nice, simple, relaxing seed for this nice Saturday afternoon. We. I've randomized basically everything, so random shops, random business scrubs, random cows as well. Songs are randomized. We are not doing key sanity, and we are not doing Sculptula sanity either. But we are doing Triforce Hunt. We need to get 20 Triforce pieces. I believe there are 30 Triforce pieces in the world, so we need to find 20 of them. Let's start. So right off the bat, we start with the Forest Medallion. That's cool. That's pretty nice. I like the default tunic color. That's very, very tray chic. It's been a while since I've played the Ocarina of Time randomizer, so let's hope I'm not out of practice. That's weird. I thought I set random colors for all of the buttons at the top of the screen, but it looks like the A and B buttons are pretty much exactly the same as they normally are. Now, that's interesting. Oh, great. <laughs> Navi sounds like a pot breaking. Lovely. Oh, the shades are a little... <laughs> Welcome, Nintendo Addict. And, uh, yes, I did turn on increased ice traps. <laughs> How's it going? I didn't turn on... I think I just did ice, extra ice traps. I debated doing ice trap mayhem, but I was afraid that I was going to make basically every non-important item an ice trap, and I, I don't want that. Whee! Actually, is there a spot on the tracker for the number of ice traps I've gotten? One of the trackers I've used or I've seen has had that. I don't think that's here, though. <laughs> you were hoping for the ice trap there? Well, let's just see how many there are. Five bucks, all right. Ooh, the bomb bag. That's a good one to get early. That opens up so much. Ooh, the Hylian shield. Also good to get. And twenty dollars. Excellent. Yeah, the extra ice traps I think only adds a small handful of them, whereas ice trap mayhem made it sound like, oh, if, if there's something that's not important, like 5 rupee chest or a Deku stick chest, it's gonna become an ice trap, which is, that's just way too many. I wish there was kind of a middle ground between the two. But I was a little confused. Ooh, Triforce Beats for sale. I was a little confused, because it looked like there was Ice Trap Mayhem, where it said all extra junk locations added to the pool were Ice Traps, and then Ice Trap Onslaught, which is just all junk locations, so that's a bad do. Boomerang, well, that's pretty expensive. Triforce piece, gonna need that. The Pico of Heart. <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite. I guess we'll buy the Deku Shield. And we'll also buy a stick. Alright. We could go to Deku Tree. Actually, yeah, we will go to Deku Tree, because we even got the Deku Shield. Which means we can actually go to the slingshot room. Whee! I like going to Deku Tree first. Now that I learned you can get past the Skull Walchulas without needing the slingshot, it's a lot. there's a lot more stuff that you can explore than what you might think. Oh, also, we should equip our stick. Yeah, but, like, the Ice Trap Mayhem made it sound like the extra junk locations that are added to the seed based on your settings are what become Ice Traps, so it actually might not be as much as I was thinking. But I still didn't want to... I didn't want to end up in another accidental Triforce Hunt seed where that's far more difficult than I was anticipating, so I, I left it off. I'm a chicken. Alright, in chest number two, five dollars. And yes, I said that we start with the map and compass in each dungeon. I actually really like that. It makes the dungeons a bit more interesting. Oh no. The Z target sound effect is the great fairy laughing. That's not good.
oomph. If we just avoid stepping on that platform, we don't even need the slingshot to get out of here. Alright, chest number one. Bombs. And what about up here? Something good? Something good? More bombs. Man, the Deku tree is filled with naturally explosive materials, it seems. Hmm. <laughs> I actually don't really want bombs. I have full bombs. Oh, come on. You weren't facing me. Skull watch those are interesting enemies. I, I remember watching speedruns of this. I'm like, how did they make it so that the guys just aren't attacking them? And then I put two and two together. Woo! $200. It would have been nice to get that after I was able to hold more rupees, but I'll take it. I will take it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Master Quest Force Temple requires you to sneak past the Skull Walch at some point? Maybe. If that's the case, I've only played Master Quest once, was not really a fan, and I probably just guessed my way through it. Ooh, piece of the Triforce. And yeah, we'll we'll blow up that Sculptula. I need to save my stick. Alright. We can go to the basement. Check out the final chest. Oh no! Ha! <laughs> Made you look. I don't. I don't want to waste too many bombs in here, so I don't think I'll be taking out these sculptures. But I wanted to get the one in the compass room. All right, what is in here? It is nothing. Then let's get out of here. Also, the only the only two locations I've turned off are the two horseback archery games. There could be something behind the big pose, but I've also made it so you only need one big pose in order to get the reward, not ten. Which I think is just a big improvement. Alright, well there's a lot of business scrubs that I think I need to buy stuff from. Ouch. I also need to remember to get whatever Saria gives us. <laughs> Have you ever tried backwalking that fast in real life? It's fun. What do we got here? Money! <laughs> Saria's like, I'm so sad to see you leave the forest. Here, take five dollars. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. I, I think it's physically impossible to not spend it all in one place in this. Alright. With the bomb bag, we can get access to quite a few business scrubs over here. They could have good stuff. Or they could freeze us. Or they could just rip off our money. Ooh, the weird egg! Interesting. I'll take it. Wow. 
It's very unusual for me to get the weird egg this early in the seed. I feel like that's usually something I get in the second half of the seed, basically every time. Which is annoying, because I also checked the setting that Kakariko's gate is going to be closed. And you can't open it until after you get the weird egg. I am not going to attempt the Wolfos Grotto with only bombs. That's not happening. Ka chunk What do we have in here? Ooh, wow, the bow! Alright, we're getting the good stuff now. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to do early adult. Early adult actually might be a pretty good idea with the equipment we have right now. Still no ocarina, so... It's going to be hard reaching any of the dungeons, but that's okay. Mysterious item is... Oh, a piece of the Triforce. Fantastic. I guess I'm just... I'm a little worried that this seed is going to be too fast if I just need 20 Triforce pieces. The Magic Meter? My goodness, this is a good early seed. Wow. Wow. Lucky. Man, those bu these business scrubs have good stuff. My goodness. Do do do. All right, mysterious item is ooh, Saria Psalm. I can't play it, but I have it. And... Okay, recovery heart. It's about time they sold me something bad. Still, wow. We got we got the swag early on. This is great. In some ways, it's actually bad if you get a bunch of, like, good stuff really early on, because then it's just like, wow, there's like a million different places I could check. I don't know which one would be best. For me, however, I think it would behoove me to not at least check Goron City for some stuff. Seeing as how this is my only way into Goron City right now. Ooh, let's see what's at the Goron shop. Ouch. Goron shop. Got anything good? It doesn't look like it. Um, we can buy bomb and shoes. We can buy Deku nuts. I'm not gonna buy Deku nuts. I will buy another stick, though. Actually, I'll buy a couple sticks. No sword means you gotta rely on the, uh, the branches <laughs> to do some damage. Plus, I believe there's a stick in one of these pots. Bada beam, bada boom. Probably should not have bought the stick, so I could have just... Yeah. The way I saw it, I'm probably going to be full, full up on rupees pretty soon anyways, so I figured why not. Oh wait, come back here Hot Rodder Goron! Aw oh, man. Now I'm going to have to wait for him to go all the way around again. Rats! I think I got off cycle because I broke open the vase to get a stick. Normally I don't, and when I get up here it's like perfect timing to just blow him up. Give me something good. Give it to me. Piece of heart! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see a piece of heart. <laughs> I only got one last seed. And that was the winner heart piece. Um. Uh oh, my emulator screen has frozen. I'm gonna trust that it saved. 
<laughs> Literally, my screen was frozen on my emulator. I had to reset. All right, we'll have to go back into the rock maze. Thankfully, it's pretty close by. Oui. Oui. That was weird. I've never seen Bizhawk do that before. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I'm really digging the, the default tunic color, to be honest. Most of the time when I play this randomizer and I choose random tunic colors, I always start with like a yellow or a barf green one, and that, that's not good. Those two colors are nasty. Or like all three of my tunics are a different shade of pink. I like some variety, and blue is a nice shade. Ah, hello Proxima! How are you? Welcome, welcome to the stream. This is still the beginning of the seed, so you haven't missed a whole lot. Although my emulator screen froze recently, so I had to reset. We're off in Goron City. We're on a roll. I We're actually kind of running low on bombs. It's a shame that we got both of the bomb refills in Deku Tree when we had max bombs. That's okay, though. Alright, Rock Maze. Take that. Man, that does take quite a few bombs to get through, so I gotta be wise with my remaining seven bombs. Oh my gosh! Okay, Giant's Knife. Not not quite Big Goron Sword, but that's okay. Still very good. Bundle of arrows. Alright. I mean, we're already a tenth of the way to the end of the seed, so... I'm optimistic. Alright, that should be everything in... Goron City we can get. Let's check out Death Mountain Trail. Hop! Hop! Alright, chest behind here we have... Ooh, another piece of the Triforce. Lovely. You can also check out what's up here. Alright. Ooh, Neighbor's Love. Interesting. I think Neighbor Neighbor's Love and Ferrora's Wind kind of get bad raps. They're actually both pretty good. I mean, Neighbor's Love less so if you're already good at the game. You don't really need to avoid damage, but hey, it's there. Ferrora's Wind, though, is quite nice. Minimizes backtracking. <laughs> Thank you, one-way collision detection. You... Alright, potion grotto time. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I can imagine Neighbor's Love is going to be useful if you're playing really difficult ROM hacks. But even in the vanilla game, if you're doing, like, a free heart run, it's really nice against those Iron Knuckles. Because the Iron Knuckles can just one-shot you. What do we got? A lot of money! Alright. I probably should go to the market, then, and see what the shops have. Oh yuck! Two Stalfos and three Iron Knuckles in an icy high in an icy hallway. Why? Sounds dreadful. Oh boy! Goodness me! A stick. How helpful.
Alright, yeah, we're gonna head off to Hyrule Castle Town, see what's available at the shops. Honestly, two Stealthus for Iron Knuckles sounds kind of bad, but doable, but the icy hallway is what did it. <laughs> that's, that's just, <laughs> that's just not okay. Maybe they'll be selling a wallet for like 99 rupees. That would be nice. First, though, Pot Sculptula. Alright, I think it's like from here. Nope. Hiya! There we go. <laughs> we broke Link's kneecaps, but it's okay. We got a Sculptula token. Alright, bizarre first. It's a bizarre place to find stuff. Welcome! Ooh, Piece of the Triforce. Zora Tunic is cheap as well. Slingshot is expensive. Ooh, Piece of the Tri... Okay. That's pretty nice. Mmm. Gonna buy the Zora Tunic. <laughs> it's... It's red. How nice. Now watch there be something way more important at the potion shop. Okay, I see light arrows. 70 rupees. Alright, they're good. They got some good stuff at the shops. Malon usually gives me $200, though, so let's see how that goes. Hi, Malon. Give me $200? Nope, a piece of heart. How do light arrows make you money, big money fast? I mean, it's not like this game is particularly stingy on the, in the money category. Oh, also, I have child archery. Forgot about that. Do you need 10 or 20 rupees for child archery? I think you need 10. I can't quite remember, though. Most enemies give you a purple rupee when they get killed with light arrows? What? Oh, that's pretty nice. Is, is child archery 20 or 10 rupees? I can't quite remember. I know adult archery is fairly expensive. Although, I guess if I just find two blue rupees in here. Grab the pot. I'm just crackers about cheese, Gromit. It's too late in the day to do the drawbridge rupee trick. Those two guys are laughing at a hilarious joke they told. Good for them. Let's go to archery. It's 20 rupees. Good thing I got 20 rupees. Oh, no! I'm not used to the these controls. It's been too long since I've played this. Oh, well, at least I can do it again for free. Watch him just freeze me for beating this. Doggone it! Got it on the way up. Oh, doggone it! I 
I love how this medieval archery game is themed... It's like... Themed after the Old West. Oh, come on. Thank you. Like, did, did the Middle Ages people even know about deserts? Doggone it! Why is this so difficult? Oh, wow. I actually ran out of ammunition. I forgot that you have a limit on this. Welcome to Artie Plays the Child Slingshot Game for five hours. There we go! Wow, he refunded me my money. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's get the light arrows. Actually, wait, light arrows were more expensive than that, weren't they? Oh yeah, they were 70 rupees. <laughs> it was a good experience. Guess we'll buy the Triforce piece, then. We got four out of twenty pieces. Alright, I guess now we can go and see Zelda, because we do have the weird egg. Although, actually, I... I'm gonna wait for it to be night first, so I can just take a look at the bomb tree shop and get Richard! The Great Fairy laughs when the sun sets. That's, um... It's quite the thing. Hey, Richard, Richard, follow me. Follow me, boy. Here, Mamu Yan, I found Richard. Give me money, please. Oh, it's vanilla! Open the door! <laughs> Bombs your shop. Wow, we got some good stuff here. We have the Minuet of Forest for 85 rupees. We have the Hover Boots for 170. I mean, neither of them I can use right now. I need the, uh, the wallet and the ocarina before I can do that. But, hey, good to know. Shops are loaded. I, I like the shop sanity. It, it actually makes money useful. <laughs> Do 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 ho junk Weave between the guards. Excellent. I don't know why I'm trying to get through fast. I'm gonna have to wait for Talon regardless. Or rather wait for the egg to hatch. At least we can start moving the crates. Look, a chicken hatched! Yay! <laughs> we didn't lose any time at all! I'm here to see you, Zelda. You don't know me, but I know you. Yoink! Alright. Just crawl for the water, Link. 
I don't care if you get your tunic dirty. Zelda's letter! Alright, Impa, what you gonna give me? Arrows. She's a kid. Here, kid. You look like you could use these. And this is how we're gonna buy the other stuff. <laughs> I still have no idea when, where, or why the bomb tree shop opens. Because apparently it's not when you get the bomb bag. Maybe it's when you get the Goron Ruby? I don't really know. There we go. Now we can get the light arrows. And maybe... Honestly, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe be turn into an adult right now. That actually might be the, the, the optimum play. Because I even have the magic meter and the bow. <laughs> We're selling sold out signs. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> you should, yeah. Uh, yeah, I usually don't go for the early adult play, but we're going to do that. This also gives us a chance to see where all the medallions are. Not that we're really going to need them. But hey, who knows? Maybe 11 of the Triforce pieces are hidden in Ganon's castle. It is possible. Very, very unlikely, though. We now have the Master Sword. Hey! A slingshot! We don't have to buy it from the <laughs> bazaar. How nice. Actually, I don't need the giant's knife. Dang, this tunic looks pretty interesting. Doesn't look like a Zora tunic, but he... Alright. Alright, one in the deep forest. Alright, forest temple has the light medallion. I have that one. Uh, under a vast lake, so that's water temple. Deku tree has the water medallion. Okay. Dodongo's cavern has the shadow medallion. Excellent. And it's, okay, Generic Spirit Temple Medallion. Which means Fire Temple, Shadow Temple, and Jabu Jabu have the Spiritual Stones. Again, I don't think it's particularly going to matter, because we probably won't need to beat a lot of dungeons. <laughs> but like a year with Frog and Toad says, He'll never know! What do you mean I can't shoot re-deads in this room? That is very rude. <laughs> Alright, where to go? There's some stuff in Kakariko we can do. Oh, I just we can go to the Redead Grotto and see and test out our uh, the Light Arrow Fury. I never really use Light Arrows to just. Gen Did that really not wait? Are they immune to Light Arrows? Wow, they are. That seems. Very strange, considering that these are creatures of the undead. Okay. Interesting. Also, my magic meter didn't change color. I said random magic meter. Hmm. That's weird. Redeads don't play by the rule, apparently. Hey, Anju, what you gonna give me? 
You think that's a different shade of green? Okay, maybe I just got really, really lucky. <laughs> oh, I love that trick. Ooh, bomb refill! I'm actually quite happy with that. I kind of want to do adult archery, but also I might screw it up. We might need 30 rupees for this as well. Nope, just 20. Oh, okay. great. Alright, big lip man. Weird, we can save the amount of ammo that we have left for adult archery, but not for child archery. Maybe it's because we didn't have the slingshot for child archery. Wow, that was way easier. Oh, you ripoff artist! Wow! He totally conned me out of my rupees. What a butt. What a butt. Alright. Mm. Oh, it's because I don't have the sword. Oh. Man. <laughs> the more you know, apparently. Let's see what these shops have. I mean, there's almost no way I'll be able to purchase anything. But hey, we can check them out. Ooh! Iron boots for 150, strength upgrade for 120. Those are too expensive. But I, I will remember that. Wow, the shops are just loaded in this seed. What about here? Din's Fire and the Ocarina. Ocarina, yo, oh, we'll need two wallet upgrades. All right, wow. Not having the sword messes with the B button icon, and in the case of Adult Link, does horrible things to Epona. That doesn't sound good. Oh, is that how you can do things like use the hookshot while on Epona? Yeah, I do vaguely remember that. Oh, let's go to Dodongo! There's a lot of stuff here. And we have everything we need. I mean, we have the bomb bag. Bomb bag's all you need. Um, why did I hear the stun sound effect from that? That seems weird. Hi, Dodongos. Don't worry, I'm just here to meet my business scrubs and buy some stuff. Oh, actually, I probably should have come to this dungeon with more than 10 rupees in hand, because there are quite a few business scrubs. Just realized that. Oh wait, I can use light arrows to maybe get money. It's a Deku shield! Oh, okay, yep, I'll try it. What's up, Mobius? How you doing? Welcome to the Triforce Hunt. Ooh! Let's try Light Arrows on Lazalfos's. Huh! Interesting. Alright, not enough damage to them, eh? Huh, that doesn't seem to be doing as much damage to them as I thought they would. I'll talk on it! <laughs> they, they better drop- okay, sure enough, they did drop 50 bucks. I have absolutely no magic anymore. Oh, I want magic! I also now need another rupee, because I don't like that count. <laughs> there we go. Now 
Normally I just save and quit and reset to get out of there, but now now I've got plenty of dollars to get us through the dungeon. Yeah, I could have just yep, I could have just shot the keys there. Stupid old myself. Food for me? Alright, bundle of arrows. Oh, wait. Alright, give me something great. Hey, Deku Nuts! I actually didn't have those. I'll take them. I feel like... I feel like the Child Link dungeons could have had music. Because I do not count things like this as music, it's just background noises. Also, wow, Armoses are a lot easier no <laughs> when you have a powerful sword. Of course! Of course I got full rupees from that. <laughs> That's a cool puzzle. I wish they kind of did more stuff like that in Ocarina, whereas most of it is just hit the switch. Like, they programmed special behaviors for bomb flowers just for this puzzle. That's pretty cool. Wow! He's like, you want that Skullchilla token? You're gonna have to die for it. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, it's time to sequence break half the dungeon. Well, I mean, we already sequence broke like a third of it. Now we're gonna sequence break the next third of it. But first... I thought you needed the hover boots to sequence break in here. You don't. Ooh, the Goron tunic! And that is... Oh, it's a green tunic. Yes, I would like that instead, please. Hey! We have the green, the red, and the blue tunics! It's just they're different from what they were in the original game. That's funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, actually, wait. Before I, before I do this... Okay, never mind. I already did it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the blade traps. They're always fun. Bombs? I'll take it. I know there are business scrubs back there. I, I will get them in a bit. First, I want to get the stuff that's up here, though. Something good? Peace of heart. All right. After a last seed, I'm happy to see pieces of heart again. Free heart runs are doable, but <laughs> can get a bit annoying at times. All right. I'm getting sick of the Great Fairy laughing. Oh boy, bundle of arrows. 
All right. You know what? Hey, he was he was generous. So generous. <laughs> I'll take it. Wah! <laughs> Alright, don't leave without me! Thank you! <laughs> oh, it's the room that I always get my shield burned in if I have the Deku shield out. I love how Adult Link can literally skip, like, two-thirds of this dungeon. And, yep. Always get hit. <laughs> I could put in, I could put in Mario Kart 64 Wario sound effects. That, you know what, yeah. Maybe I'll do that for a sound alert. <laughs> ay ya 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 Wow. Ooh, Kokiri Sword. Also, I think we'll equip the Giant's Knife. I skipped the scrub? Where? Where did I skip a scrub? I came to Dongo. The scrub in the back hallway there? There's no scrub there. There's a gold sculpture in there. No, there's a gold sculpture in there, not a scrub. Oh, you want Wario sound effects in Ocarina of Time Rando. Okay, that's gonna be a little more difficult to do. <laughs> I'm not good enough at hacking. Oh man, it would be interesting if I could put my own sound effects in this, though. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Actually... Huh. Oh my gosh, it's a wallet upgrade. It's a wallet upgrade! Yes! Oh, that's great. And we get ourselves a medallion. You have 13,000 points and 13,000 arty bucks. Nothing to use the mod. I could do a game suggestion one. I... Get out. <laughs> I was ready for it that time. I, the thing is, I am hesitant to play games unless I already know I'm going to like them. I, I'll think about it, though. I do think I need more stuff to use channel points on, for sure. Because the sound effects are pretty cheap. Oh, I forgot to up it to six. I'll, I'll think about it. I, ha I just have such a long list of stuff okay. that I do want to stream. That I would feel bad if somebody suggested something and I can't just drop everything and start playing it. It is an idea, though. Alright, I could go to Death Mountain. Nah, I'm not going to Death Mountain Crater. Death Mountain Crater without the hookshot or the hover boots is going to be tricky. Oh man, now that I have the adult's wallet, though, there is so much stuff I can buy. Okay. First, we gotta get rid of Link the Goron. Or in this case, Artie the Goron. I'm gonna do my signature move. I find it easier to stop him by doing this rather than blowing him up with a bomb of our own. <laughs> I am Artie. Hear me. Hear Ganondorf's trem minions tremble, or whatever he says. Alright! Let's ask about the dragon. And now about the Gorons. Oh, bomb shoots! Thank you, sir! I need magic meter, though. I really do need a ma- <laughs> I do need magic refills. I thought they were everywhere, but maybe- ouch. Oh, 
Maybe there are magic refills in Death Mountain Crater. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot this wasn't Big Goron's sword. Yeah, that's that's why Giant's Knife can be, um... <laughs> that's why Giant's Knife is not as good as Big Goron's sword. It, it, it broke. <laughs> Let's pull out the Master Sword, then. I mean, I will save, yes, but I wanted to equip Master Sword. There we go! It would not break! It It broke! <laughs> oh, Aladdin. What, what an amazing movie. Okay, there's just a blue rupee up there. Do not need to grab it. All right, what's in what's in the box? Also, how did we get that much money? Oh, that's right. I had like 95 rupees in Dodongo's cavern and then I got 20 rupees. Oh boy, a recovery heart. Actually, can I get magic refills in here? Or is it just one rupee pieces? Rats. No magic refills. All right, what's down here? Eh, no thanks. I'll keep them there just in case, but... I don't need more bomb chews. And in that case, I think... I think that's everything over in the Goron area. We can get for now. Oh man, but the, with the adult's wallet. Oh man, we can get we can start making some money. Where to go though? Where where has a lot of weak enemies? Hyrule Field doesn't have like any enemies in it as an adult, which is always that's always been really weird to me cuz like as an adult you're supposed to be in like the Hyrule that Ganon controls and thus monsters are everywhere. But there are, I feel like there are fewer monsters in Adult Link's timeline than there are in, like, Young Link's timeline. Like, at least the Young Link Hyrule Field has the Stahl Children at night. Adult Link? Nothing. I guess they're a pose. But that's it. Lanon Ranch at night, as a child, has a bunch of Gways, but I'm not sure if that's the same if you're an adult. I'll check, though. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever really gone to Lanon Ranch at night as an adult. Because there's no real reason to go there. I could also just dip into the forest. Kokiri Forest is filled with enemies. <laughs> Stalfos are annoying. But it's Stal children that spawn... Um... Is this another case of Adult Link's timeline being less dangerous than Young Link's? If so... Is it literally just because Malon is here singing? Malon's presence makes them disappear? If so, that's kind of weird. Actually, wait. And the grotto for the business scrubs also seems to not be here when you're an adult. What? I'm so confused. What? <laughs> I guess Talon filled in the hole in the seven year gap, or Ingo did. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can still see the, just the sun barely peeking up. That's, that's actually quite amazing. Where, where was it? I saw the sun just barely peeking up over one of these. Must have been just the exact right camera angle. Well, darn it. What am I going to shoot with my light arrows? Oh, wait. I can go to Zora's River. Zora's River is close by, and that has at least Octoroks.
Actually, I'll just go to Kokiri Forest. Actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to Zora's River, because there are actually... I can... I can get magic refills here as well. I don't think there are magic refills in Kokiri Forest, though. The things I do for money, man. I could have just grinded up that red rupee in the post shop. That would have been faster. Oh, come on! I did not know you could grab up there. No! No! My money! Forget this. Forget this. I'm just grinding up that rupee in the post shop. This is not worth it. <laughs> Actually, wait. Another place I could go is the graveyard. They're opposed there. And magic refills. Oh, I should have gone there. Whoops. <laughs> there, there's your biblical wisdom. Yes, it's true. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. But I'm not sacrificing my morals by trying to get money. I just want the money. <laughs> I, I need it to save the world. Money is not inherently evil. It's just being greedy for money that is. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Look, they're selling Triforce pieces at the shop. They're the ones who are literally selling the savior of humanity and are making people pay for it in order to actually save the world. Just to fill their own selfish pockets. So, you know, who's the real monster? I sound like Geo. Not that. Anything but that. Ooh, the money. Also, no hookshot yet, which is... Interesting. You normally get the hookshot fairly early. <laughs> Alright, can I buy the ocarina or is that the... No, that's the one that you need the giant's wallet for. Um, I mean, Din's fire leads to the shadow temple, but I can't really use anything that for anything. Google is the real evil, yes. I, I love how they're... I love how Google's old catchphrase used to be "Do no evil," and then it's like, "Well, that's hilarious now." Yeah, let's get us, let's get ourselves a Goron bracelet. <laughs> All right, let's go to the graveyard, shoot some ghosts, get some money. You know, they say you can't take your money with you, and that's true. But apparently, these ghosts in the graveyard found a way. Yep, Google's old slogan used to be, do no evil. Look it up. Google it. How did a light arrow not immediately destroy a dark spirit of the deceased? Like, I thought that's what these were made for. There we go. Oh, wow! They didn't give me anything. <laughs> you know how you have to pay for your sins when you die? Yes, exactly. It's a dark joke. Ooh, Triforce piece. Give me that. Light arrows don't do more damage than regular arrows? Oh, 
Is it only? It's only in Majora's Mask that it does. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I wanted to. All right. You know what? Dampe race time then. Maybe we'll get something good. All right. Dampe, don't be a butt and don't drop fire exactly where I'm going. It's really annoying when you, like, just barely turn a corner and it's like, oh, there's a flame right there. Just waiting for you. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, okay. That's annoying. Alright, we should we should make it within the one minute. Oh yeah. Easy. Ooh, he had a piece of the Triforce. Dampe, what were you doing in your life to get your hands on that? <laughs> and there we go. I love that trick. Alright. Okay, so there's nothing in the graveyard for us to Submit. shoot. Submit! <laughs> there's nothing in the graveyard for us to get. <laughs> I wish I could hack the game so that every time you open up something and it's a nice trap, Ansem goes, SUBMIT! <laughs> that would be great. Alas, though, still too limited. Alright. <sighs> I, it's still so weird that Hyrule Field has no enemies to kill. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> Classic Admiral Akbar. Okay, new, new plan. We are going with our original partial plan and going to Kokiri Forest. I know there are enemies there. There are Deku Scrubs there, who die in one hit from an arrow, so... yes. I also... it just occurred to me, I have all these grottos in Hyrule Field I have not explored yet, despite having bombs. I need that ocarina, though. I know I need another wallet upgrade before I can get it, but I, I need that ocarina. <laughs> He need it for so much. Oh, come on! You're supposed to die in one hit from the arrows. Yes. Here. Try it. Try it, punk. Try it, punk. I never knew about that. <laughs> the real reason the arrows are light is because they give you money. For the house. Was well, there anything good at the Kokiri shop that was too expensive last time I came here? I forget. There was some pretty good st Oh, yeah. Boomerang, I think, is still out of my... Yeah. We can get the Triforce piece now, though. This is very satisfying. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. Now we can get the iron boots. There also was stuff at the bomb chew shop that we could get. Oh, actually, yeah. The hover boots. Hover boots are going to be better than iron boots. 
Iron boots are pretty limited. Like, you need it to enter... Actually, we can't enter Water Temple regardless, so... We. Let's go back to being a child. We got more stuff now as a child. We can actually we actually have a sword. And a slingshot. Alright, I think we'll go to Kakariko, give the letter. Maybe start the mask training sequence? We probably don't need to do the mask training sequence. Well, actually, I, I know for a fact we do not. <laughs> Because there are extra Triforce pieces! Oh, we can do Bamachu Bowling Alley, though. Well, we should be able to. We've beaten the Dongus Cavern with the Bomb Egg, and we have Bamachus. Alright. Oh, look, bombs. Don't care about that. A piece of heart. I'll try for that. Uh, I hate it when they're on the side of the wall like that. It's really hard to aim when they're on the side of the wall. There we go. Darn it, chicken. If only you were a little faster. And there we go. Not too hard. Give me my prize. I really don't want to play again, as a matter of fact. Although this does mean I need to do the uh, drawbridge money trick. How much time is left in this day? It's not already sunset, is it? No, it's not. We're good. Man, it's weird seeing my equipment on white C buttons. It's trippy, because even in the GameCube re-release, they were still yellow. Whereas the, the attack and the... The A and B buttons had different colors, but the C buttons have always been yellow. So it's weird seeing that a different color. Alright. Mr. Guard, I have a personal letter written by Princess Zelda herself. So, open the gate, son. Wahaha! Ooh, look at that gate open. By the way, Mr. Hero, can you get me a mask? I appreciate him not wanting to shirk his duties and asking somebody to do it for him. And offering to pay. That's very nice of him. Wee.
we'll have to kill some time in Hyrule Castle. Because I believe the hover boots were being sold at the bomb at the bomb juice shop. That's okay. Hello, happy mask shop. Hello, friendly man. We get the key something mask. All right, now we just <laughs> watch the sunset. It's kind of hard to watch the sunset when there are all these cliffs in the way. Also, way to make Hyrule Castle Town look a lot bigger than it actually is. <laughs> It's like, wow, look at how far... Away. I guess I guess that off in the distance is Lawn on Ranch. Okay, Bomb Juice Shop. You've got flying boots, and the infomercial told me that they absolutely work, so you better not be lying to me. <laughs> they better not just be giant shoes with fans taped to the bottom of them. We also have the Minuet of the Force, but I mean, come on, hover boots. <laughs> we are definitely getting the hover boots. <laughs> and at that point, I believe we just... I don't want to wait around in Hyrule Castle waiting for it to become daytime. We're going to save warp back to the forest. Ooh, and we can get sorry, whatever sorry the psalm turned into now. Maybe? Actually, maybe not. Oh, we can beat Deku Tree, though. Yeah, let's beat Deku Tree. We need more sticks. Even though I have the sword, sticks are still better. <laughs> double the range, or double the power and triple the range. And we've already beaten most of the dungeons, so... Geronimo! Oh, man. I couldn't grab onto the vines. Must have been at a weird angle. Just shoot the eyeball! Come on! Thank you. Surprised that I didn't blink from all the shots almost hitting him. Stelphos. <laughs> Bombs make short work of you! I love that. I hate how big their hitbox is in Majora. They doubled the size of their hitbox, making them far more annoying to deal with.
Let's just ignore the little gomas. <sighs> I've always been surprised the little gomas don't follow you through the crawl space. I feel like that would have been the perfect opportunity to make them actually, like, unique enemies. Instead of just like, oh yeah, you hit them and they die. <laughs> and that's about all there is to them. Twenty three is number one. <laughs> this is so annoying that I'm going to spill all of the spoilers for how to defeat the first boss. Because he bought the strategy guide. All right, hi, Goma. It's weird that you can rotate your eye all the way into the back of your head. Alright, can we one cycle? Nope, that's not a one cycle. <sighs> Sometimes Link just don't want to pull out that second stick. There we go. And now it just peels away flake by flake. Like Voldemort. Like movie Voldemort. Vanilla heart container. Interesting. And we get the water medallion. We killed the Deku tree. Maybe we shouldn't announce that to the world. Okay, now, now we should be able to get Saria's Psalm. Or whatever it turned into. <laughs> also, I love how it's now magically daytime again. Ooh, the Requiem of Spirit. That is interesting. Now I really have to get that ocarina. Now I, I just need that second wallet upgrade. It would be so nice to have that. Do 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 do. All right, time for some power crouch stabbing. Excellent. Something good? Hey, Deku stick capacity upgrade. I'd say that's pretty good. Twenty sticks. <laughs> Getting through here without taking damage is extremely... It's actually probably not that difficult, but it requires you to stop and shield these fans, and uh, I don't have the patience for that. No way, no how. We can almost outrun those fiends when we're walking backwards. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Saria. 
Now that's a real friend. <laughs> All right. That's exactly what I wanted. Ocarina, here we come! I swear, Malon and Saria generally give me lots of money when I play these seeds. Um, fastest way to... I think we can just walk there. We could take the shortcut for Goron City, but I really don't think that's going to be any faster. Yunk! We're almost halfway to getting all of the Triforce pieces. We have 7 out of 20. Once we get the ocarina and have access to the warp psalms, we also will get access to uh, warping to places where we can quickly shoot down enemies with light arrows. I also love how there are entire parts of the map we have just not even scratched yet. We have not been to Gerudo Valley, we have not been to really to Zor's River, or Lake Hylia. <laughs> We're just like, grind up money, buy stuff at the shops, because the shops have way too much good stuff. <laughs> Nor have we explored, like, any of the grottos in Hyrule Field. Oh wow, it's sunset, magically. It was definitely not sunset when I went in. <laughs> Still no hookshot, which is interesting. No hookshot means, like, no Skulltulas as an adult. So I really have not been collecting very many Skulltulas. That's okay, though. I doubt we really need Skulltulas in a Triforce hunt like this. That green tunic. So good. Can I hear what sound the hover boots make? Not in here. My favorite sound for the hover boots is like the sound. The sound of the Gorons falling in uh, Death Mountain when they're giving you the big Goron hug. I mean, once I get the ocarina, it's not like I have a lot of psalms. Although I do have sorry psalms, so I... No, I can't go to Forest Temple. No hookshot. Oh, wait. I don't have money. Granted, of course, the potion shop is going to be closed when I get there anyways. That's... Slightly annoying. That's okay, I can grind up some grottos in, uh... Hyrule Field. I also, I love how it was like 205 rupees for the, the ocarina, so it's like you just barely needed the giant's wallet. <laughs> I'm just robbing the po-man blind. 
he's just trying to run a good old honest ghost business, and here I am ruining it for him. All right, yeah. While we wait for daytime, let's go around and get some of these grottos. All right, and here we get the Prelude of Light. You know, that's actually quite useful to have. It doesn't lead anywhere, but it definitely helps minimize backtracking. I really appreciate that. All right, where else? Most of them are on this side. I would catch you, Big Poe, if I had a bottle. Are you trying to burn me? That's very rude of you. Very, very rude indeed. Wow, that took a long time for him to disappear. I feel like normally the big pose disappear in like five seconds. inside. Bomb shoes, eh? Whatever. Alright, gotta hurry to that potion shop. I need the ocarina. I can immediately go to the spirit temple. Not that I can really get anywhere. I freaking hate that Big Poe. That Big Poe is the worst. I still don't know how to really catch him. Because you, you, you have to get up there in order to spawn him, but then he just spawns in the wall and immediately disappears. This is why I have it set so you only need one Big Poe. Yes, we get the ocarina at last. Thank goodness. Now we're going tektite hunting. Ah, he jumped. Oh, come on! Wait, what? But I didn't shoot it! He, had, I was charging up for it, he hit me. I didn't shoot it, but it still made me lose my magic powder. What a jackbutt. Literally. You know what, this... Actually... This is why I just... Grind up money in the Poe House! <gasps> it's honestly faster with how annoying it is to use light arrows on enemies. Hey, 
here's probably a perfect place to do it. But of course I have no magic powder now. Do any of these vases have magic in them? Those have rupees. But over here. No, just money. Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go. Ooh, the big bomb bag. Okay, well this is annoying. Eh. Wow! So, like, half the enemies just don't give you the fi Nope. I'm not bothering with this anymore. On the off chance I actually am able to hit them with the light arrows, they don't drop it. Nope, just just gonna do cheap grinding in the po house then. For them iron boots. I don't need any calming tea. It's true, I don't. I'm not mad, I'm just annoyed. Light arrow grinding, maybe that works better in the Majora rando, but in, in the Ocarina rando, there's so many easier ways of getting money. Now, if memory serves, the iron boots are under 200 rupees. I could get Dense Fire, but let's be honest, that's only going to be useful to enter the Shadow Temple, and I am nowhere close to being able to enter the Shadow Temple. I don't have the Lens of Truth, I don't have the Nocturne of Shadow, I don't have any of the hook shots. <laughs> Glunk. I also could save up for the boomerang. That actually might be a more worthwhile investment, but I'm still going to get the iron boots. Just to clean out my collection of footwear. Minuet of the Forest could also be nice. I don't need it, because I can always get there without it now with, that I have Sarius or Sarius on, but again, minimizes backtracking, which I appreciate. But not today. Oh, we, we also need to check out the windmill guy. See what he has. He's selling bombs and arrows and then the iron boots. A lot of variety in that shop now. <laughs> Oh, we can also check out what the uh, freestanding heart piece up here is. Because I haven't been inside the windmill yet. Uh, oh, Triforce piece. That's actually pretty important. So we do need the boomerang. Oh, wow. Double Triforce piece in here. Yeah, yeah, if you have the boomerang, you can grab that without needing to go for the damp air race. Which is nice. Alright, I think next I'm gonna go to... I could go to Fire Temple. Don't... Yeah, I'll go to Fire Temple. There's a lot of stuff there. 
Wait, you can get it with no items at all? Oh, that's right, you can. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> that's right, I have seen people do crazy amounts of parkour, but, um... It, it would probably take me less time to just grind up rupees, get the boomerang, turn into Yun Link, and then get it that way. I also kind of want a Pona Soul soon, because then I can start seeing what the cow's milk has. Rats. Missed the rope, so no Skullchilla for me. Ooh, heart container. Nice. Thank you, Sheik. Alright, let's head off to Fire Temple. We might... <laughs> There's a chance we can just do nothing in here without the Megaton Hammer. But uh, we can at the very least get one chest. <laughs> if this chest does not have a small key, though, then, uh... We're at an impasse. If this has the boss key, though, that'll be funny, because I can literally just immediately go to Volvagia then. Actually, no, I can't. I have no Megaton Hammer. Okay. <laughs> no, all right. That was that was a productive visit to the Fire Temple. I should probably visit Zora's Fountain. With the hover boots, I can collect all the freestanding heart pieces there, and whatever is in the grotto. Ooh, but first, I'm gonna go to the, uh... Water Grotto in here. In the field. Oh boy, Triforce Beast, excellent. Only 11 more pieces. And I know where one of them is. How did I get all the way- what? How did I get all the way back there? Alright. Alright, Zora's River time. Oh my gosh. Uh, hover boots, wink. Always a good sound effect. Okay, Red Ruby, don't care about that. <laughs> 
That's weird. I did not know you could get up there. Some strange things are happening to me. It's so... Um, okay, that was magic. Wow. <laughs> Wish I know how I did that! What on earth? <laughs> he just, like, teleported upwards. What the heck? Ooh. Okay, I don't really need any more heart containers now. <laughs> I think I'm good. It's starting to snow. Now then, oh boy, Triforce piece. Jackpot! Halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer! Hey, you. I know, sorry, uh. So let me through. Oh wait, that was the wrong way. Although, wait, it just occurred to me. If I can kill Skull Kid, I can get 200 rupees by the boomerang. That's for what you put us through in Majora's Mask, buddy. It's time for Boomerang! Perfect. Just barely enough. Boom! I get the boomerang fish! That's another thing I want. A hack that turns the boomerang in this game into a fish. Just for the Muppet reference. <laughs> All the changes I would make to Ocarina of Time would be weird changes. Unimportant ones like that. Turns all of the frogs into Kermit. Alright. <sighs> Come on. Give me a bunch of Yes, there we go. Well, having the bow definitely makes this part a lot more doable. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, Shrek! <laughs> eh, eh. <gasps> I actually kind of want that. No, put on the iron boots.
I want it for this guy up here. <laughs> Turns darkness into money. That's the light arrow for you. What you gonna give me, Sheik? You're gonna give me arrows. Okay. Whatever. I believe at this point we're kind of set to do Child Link's part of the Spirit Temple. As well as some other veins. No hookshot, though, is kind of making things a little difficult. But I basically have every Yun Link item. Yeah, let's do Child Link Spirit Temple. At least as best we can. Always equip the Hylian Shield before going in, because there are fire keys aplenty in this dungeon. Alright, Spirit Temple. Let's do this. Just shoot the little bugger. Alright. Ha! <laughs> gotcha! Love that trick. Carrying the torch from one room to another. It's clever. Alright. Now for the tricky part! Pliers! Aha! Alright, cool. Oh, even better, we stunned that guy. Twenty dollars. Alright. Ouch! I always forget the Anubises can actually, like, attack you. That was an unfortunate place to be in, there, Anubis. Oh no, my money. Just open the dang chest. Free money in this room, that's nice. We have no key. So we actually can't go any further in the dungeon. Lovely. That's just wonderful. Actually, wait, no. I actually did not want to warp to the Temple of Time. I wanted to save and quit. 
Me, me. <laughs> That's amusing. Okay, we're gonna go back to the forest so we can play Sorry the Psalm for Skull Kid and then for Durin. Actually, no, we can't play it for Durunia. We don't have Zelda's Lullaby. Hmm. Well, we can still play it for Skull Kid. Oh, and we can do the Ocarina Memory game. How grand. <laughs> it's gonna be grand. Hey, I'm gonna kill you in the future, but let's be friends for now. <laughs> You know sorry is song. Here, take a piece of heart. I'll take it. I also like that dark blue na uh, navy. Oh hey, it's the minuet of the forest. <laughs> Very fitting. Okay, not anymore. Ooh! <laughs> it's the song that makes the McDonald's logo. Ba da ba ba ba! I'm loving it. Ooh! I. Oh, I'm really loving that. Song of Storms, that opens up. The entire bottom of the well. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good. In fact, I think I feel a song coming on. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You just remember what your old pal said. Ooh, nice! Come on, OBS. Why are you streaming at such a... Oh, probably because I my computer is overheating. You know, that's fair. I think I... I think I need... Not a laptop, if I actually want to start streaming games, like, at a high FPS. Oh, well. Oh, what's in the Goron shop, actually? I forget. Was there anything good? I think there was, like, one thing. No, never mind, there was nothing good. I am very curious where the hookshot is, though. Like, wow. Can't believe I have not found it yet. Ice arrows! They're useless, but they sure look cool! I just realized I should probably enter Kakariko when it's just barely night. So that way, I can do the heart pounding grave digging tour and hunt for some sculptures.
I wonder if Saria knows anything about the spiritual stones. Who cares about the spiritual stones? There's no way we need them in this seed. I would be absolutely shocked if we needed the spiritual stones in this in this seed. The only way that would be really possible is if something ridiculously important was hidden behind the spiritual stones, like the hook shot. Oh wait. While we're here. Might as well give him this. Ha <laughs> ha! What style? That's my favorite way of dealing with that Skullchilla. Bomb chew. All right, we can get the first Skullchilla reward, which will probably be a fat lot of nothing. But hey, you never know. <laughs> Take that grog. I'm gonna throw grass at you. The curse has been broken! Piece of heart, I'll take it. Thank you. It's bomb chew time, Woody. Thirteen. Alright. Heart pounding grave digging to her time. Before I forget. Hey, Dampe. Eh? Oh, hey! Piece of the Triforce was buried in the ground. Only need eight more pieces. <laughs> Wait, what was that shop that was selling a, tri a Triforce piece that I couldn't afford it at? I forget. Speaking of which... Oh wait, no, I think it was this, where I had to buy the boomerang. Close, but no cigar. This is a pretty precise shot right here. Especially since Link's head block. There we go. Our 13th piece. Let's try. Let's see if Bottom of the Well has any more. I like doing Bottom of the Well. There's just so much there in such a condensed area. And it's for this reason why I don't randomize music. Bottom of the wall is just not the same without this music. Oh wait, there's actually a decent amount of this I can't do without Zelda's lullaby, though. I forgot about that. I'll just have to do what I can.
I was shielding. How did you get past me? Small key for bottom of the well. Wunderbar. Now I can get a Sculptula token if I really want to. Oh, hi. I was wondering when we were going to see our next ice trap. It's kind of fitting that it's in bottom of the well. Give me something good. Peace of heart. All right. Nothing really important in here thus far. I would love to find Zelda's lullaby in here. That would be really nice. <laughs> so that way I don't have to come back here potentially in the future. What lies in the coffin? Besides bats. Oh, piece of heart. Don't care. Of how much of a pain in the butt it is to jump in that coffin. Do not care. Oh boy, a shield that I'm literally wearing on my back. Aha! Double prizes. This is the tough part of the dungeon, navigating this part without the Lens of Truth. The invisible floor room. Or rather, the invisible pit room. The floor is visible, but there are holes in the floor that are not. Alright. Hug this wall. Alright. Darn it. <sighs> Navigating that room without the Lens of Truth is so annoying. I'll probably just come back to that room later, if I ever need to come back here. Alright, just, just settle down there, buddy. Eh. Open the... Open the chest, come on. The Stone of Agony! Alright, that gives me access to the Gossip Stones. Do -do, do -do -do -do. Ooh, can I buy the, uh... Minuet of the Forest now? I forget how much that was. Actually, regardless, I can always just grind up the extra rupees in the guardhouse, so... Doesn't really matter. Ah, 
Oh yeah, easy. Minuet of the forest. Alright, I think we're gonna go to Gerudo Valley now. Because there's the double thing we can check, one in the crate and one behind the waterfall. And then we can go to Lake Hylia. Oh, wait. Eh, eh. Almost forgot. Mysterious item for 10 rupees, it's arrows. Mysterious item for 10 rupees, it's a piece of heart. Man, that great fairy was just having a field day laughing. Just like, ha ha, this is hilarious. It's really not great fairy. Alright, what's here? Open your eyes, open your eyes. Wake up, Artie. If that's a thinly veiled criticism towards me, I won't hear it and I won't respond to it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Don't have to go to Jabu Jabu. Hearty meal in the high mountains? Is that a heart container? I'm not sure what else it could be. <laughs> Goddess of the Sand hoards a piece of... Z Did that say a piece of Zelda? Like the Triforce or a piece of the Zora? Billy Elish commercial on my stream? How dare they? I do not have any say in what ads occur on my stream. Trust me, Billy Elish would be far from my top pick. If it were up to me, I would just have, like, fast food ads, just like <laughs> Culver's, Arby's, <laughs> Chick fil A. Because I already basically give commercials to them while I stream. I'm sorry, but Culver's is just so good. <laughs> they use quality ingredients, and you can really taste it. <laughs> That's nothing. When I was in college, I was just getting pelted on YouTube with commercials. I'm like, I don't have any use for these. They, the, But they, they, YouTube don't know that. They're just like, oh, you're like a young adult male? You're definitely... It's like, um... Nope. No, I'm not. Am I gonna have to censor that out of the YouTube VOD? I might have to. I should not have brought that up on the family-friendly tag stream. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that, folks. But yeah, Culver's. Very delicious. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Good fast food place. Something for everybody. Alright. Let's check the crate. Yeah, I, I I don't feel good about myself for saying that. <laughs> this is why you have to catch those streams live. Oh, great, a recovery heart. Because if you ju if you only catch the YouTube vods, you're not actually going to uh, hear what I say. All right, let's see what's behind the waterfall. It's... Oh, strength upgrade. Yes, please. Oh, I missed a gossip stone. 
Well, I haven't heard of culverts either. It's culvers. C-U-L-V-E-R-S. It's generally a Midwest chain. Although they do have some in Florida. Last time I was down there. Bam, 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 bam. It's pretty good. I mean, don't expect it to be just like the best food you've ever had, but like for fast food, it's very good quality. It's kind of me and Marty's go-to fast food place because we don't have Chick-fil-A's around here. Otherwise, it would definitely be Chick-fil-A. Ah, oh, Lake Hylia. I forgot you existed. But we're finally here. Oh, we can also go to Lawnmon Ranch as a child. We haven't done that yet. The business scrub grotto has not been filled in in the past. Us here. We they say the Goron City is on the path of gold. Well, we've we've already gotten plenty of stuff in Goron City, so that doesn't really help. All right. Hey, Lou, Mr. Owl. No, I do not want to hitch a ride with you. As a matter of fact, I just want you to get off the grave. My childhood friend Richie was buried here, and I want to pay my respects. Oh wait, why did I avoid that? Oh my god! Woo! We're six pieces away, folks. <laughs> I wish you could say, make this sound effect a random choice, but make sure it's not one of these. That would be very nice. Because, man, that Great Fairy's laugh is very annoying. Ooh, let's go fishing. If there's one thing Ocarina of Time is well known for, it's having an A-plus fishing game. <laughs> You've heard of Bassmasters 2000? Well, huh. It's got nothing on this. <laughs> the fishing game's not that bad. Once you know what to do, it's not that bad. And you know what? <laughs> After playing Donkey Kong 64 again recently, man, th this compared to some of those minigames, this is just downright fun. Hey, dude. <laughs> I'm so generous here. Take this rod. Just, just do what I do. So you go over towards where the lily pads are. And then, let's see. Wait out to around here, cast towards the center. Here's where the log is. Hello, little fish! Nope, not you. Not you, you're the wrong fish. Okay, let's aim a little bit to the right this time. We want to get that lunker in the middle. Hey, here he is. There we go! Wow, he bit real fast. And because there's no collision detection on things like the logs, we can just clip them right through. Hold A and R, and then I'm kind of holding down and left on my control stick. And we just slowly drag him in. And it's that easy. He looks about eight pounds. Caught an eight pound fish there, son. Weigh my fish. Ooh, the lens of truth. I want to quit. 
There. Easy. Also, I have still never seen the sinking lure. I've heard it exists, but I have never gotten it myself. You've had to wait a half hour for it to take the hook? Wow. If Generally, if like 10 seconds go by and I can't get it to bite, I just reel in and then cast again. And then it, usu it usually doesn't take more than two casts. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Ooh, the bowler row of fire! I mean, not that useful to me right now, but... Still can't enter Zora's domain. Which, I mean, that's fine, but it's just no Zora shop, and there's probably something good there. Gold fragment can be found at Lake Hylia. I did buy one from the business scrub. Okay, we are five away. Oh, we can actually do parts of the Spirit Temple as an adult link now. We can't do any Fire Temple till we get Megaton Hammer. We need Hookshot for... We need Hookshot for Water and Forest. We need Nocturne for Shadow. So yeah, we kind of have to go to Spirit Temple now. Me, me, me. I like the blue gauntlets. Very nice. Boo, do, boo, 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 boo. It keeps resetting my bow just to regular bow and not light arrow bow. I don't know why it keeps doing that. What do you got for me? Oh boy, okay, four pieces left. You know what? I'll take the Deku Seeds. I was getting low on slingshot ammunition. Alright, Spirit Temple, here we go. If I can't find a small key over here, then we're in trouble. It's possible. It could be like, oh, you can't get the small key until... You can't get the small key until after you, uh, have learned Zelda's Lullaby and the Lone Shot. Just like that. Nice job, Link. Alright. Yeah, if there's no small key in here, then uh, we in a bit of trouble. Okay, good. At this point, I've, I'm just ignoring the Skullchilla tokens. Even if four pieces are hidden behind the gold Skullchillas, there's still extra pieces for us to collect. 
I do have a sneaking suspicion, though, that we're going to be stuck on, like, two or one Triforce pieces that we need for a good long while, so I'm still not sure if we're close to the end of the stream or not. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, the mirror was moving by itself. I love that glitch where you can get the, the mirror to move by itself. Heart piece. And... Okay. Three pieces remaining of the Triforce. Okay, now we're in a bit of a precarious situation here, because if we fall, we can't get back up here without saving and quitting. We also don't have Zelda's lullaby. Okay, well... Hmm. Can we light the torches down now? Dawn of the Triforce. Three pieces remaining. Exactly. Alright, well, at least we can do Yunwink's side. The side that he was unable to do. Loving it! <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Out of my way. Small key, excellent. And blue rupee. This room could be difficult, without Dense Fire or Deku Sticks. We also don't have fire- actually, can we do this without Deku Sticks, Dense Fire, or Fire Arrows? I'm actually not sure if we can. We can try. Alright. <laughs> Let's get this guy a little sunshine. Bobbing it! <laughs> yeah, I actually don't think I can light the torches with just the boat. <laughs> Oh, we can see what's in the goddess's right hand. Almost killed me. You almost killed me, buddy. Good job. But not quite good enough. Ooh, Sun Song. Alrighty. Actually. Do, 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 do. Actually, wait, no. That's not faster. Last three pieces. Well, I mean, they're... 
We need free pieces, but there should be 13 left in the world somewhere. Here's the question. Will we complete the Triforce and thus beat the seed before we get the hookshot? That would be interesting if we did. Where else can we go? Hmm. We still, still can't even get to the man on the roof. Oh, that's right. I was like, where was I going? Oh yeah, graveyard for the sun psalm thing. Beyond that, where else can we check? I suppose we could buy magic beans and go to the places where they grow. Other than that, though... Uh, there's not a whole lot left. Oh wait, that's the wrong grave. Took long enough. All right, come on, be something good. Be something good. That's not something good. If only I could go to the royal family tomb. But nope. Uh, I can make the. I can make it rain for the frogs. Hmm. Where to go, where to go? How much is Din's fire? Din's fire is over a hundred, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's almost two hundred. Oh boy, mmm. There's not a whole lot of other places we can go right now. So much is hidden behind that Dane hook shot. I'm very curious as to where the hook shots are. Hmm. Also, opponent psalm. Randomized cows may not end up playing any role in this whatsoever. Oh, I know. I'm going to Lawnmon Ranch as a young as a young child. We can get whatever's in the silo, and we can buy whatever the Deku scrubs are selling. And do Talon Super Cuckoo game. Yeah, there's actually kind of a lot there. I guess it's because I visited I visited there as an adult, and I'm like, there's nothing. We should also get the skull mask, just in case. <laughs> Remember, when you're being pursued by a crocodile... Moving zigzag patterns. <laughs> It'll disorient him. Huh? Or her. Alright. 
While I'm on ranch, so Talon's Super Cuckoo game generally gives me either $5, or he freezes me. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten anything important from Talon's Super Cuckoo game, but we're going to play it nonetheless. Do, 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 do. Hi there, Talon. Why, yes, I would love to play this game. Start looking! Come on, pick him up. Okay, I was really careful. I didn't want Link to open the door, because he can do that, and then you're in trouble. Yeah, I want to marry Malon. Oh ho! First time he's had something important. <laughs> he's like, oh, you beat my cuckoo game. I can, sure, I guess I'll give you the power of the gods. All right, folks, just two pieces left. We could end up getting both of the others here at Lon Lon Ranch, which would be kind of hilarious if we did. I'm now kind of determined to beat this seed without ever getting the hook shot. <laughs> what a funny seed that would be. There's a pretty good chance we'll get something good here. Ooh, an upgraded quiver. I mean, that's cool, but not necessary. Okay, Ferrora's Wind. <laughs> Ferrora's Wind, the warp magic you can see. It's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but better. Alright, I was waiting. I was wondering when one of them was going to freeze me. But it's okay, he healed me back up. Alright. If there's something really good in this silo, <laughs> that'll be funny. Because I literally could have gotten this right at the very beginning of the game. Alright, what we got? If it's a Ponasol, that'll be pretty spectacular. Come on. Enter the crawl space. Oh, it's just bomb chews. Don't care about that. Alright, where do we go next? Um, I think I'm gonna go buy some magic beans. I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, I'm gonna plant one in Lake Hylia, because I can't get it without... I can't use it, the hookshot in the Scarecrow Soul. I'm gonna plant one in Gerudo or the Desert Colossus. And I think those are the only two I can afford. I'd also like to plant one in the graveyard, if at all possible. Yeah, I'll need 60 rupees in order to buy three of them. Oh, there's also the uh, business scrubs in Zora's River. I always forget about them, but yeah, there's the stone, the Song of Storms Grotto with the business scrubs that we never went to. So we actually might need a little bit more. <laughs> nah, we can find more along the way. There's that big clump of grass on the outside of it, so that should have some money in it. Oh, 
On Donner, on Blitzen. There are so many key items that we just don't have. And yet we're so close to the end of the seed. We don't have the hookshot, we don't have any of the scales. We don't have any bottles. It's interesting. Lies in Zora's River for us. Alright, Deku Nuts, not great. Okay, we just need one more piece. And you know what, folks? The frogs might have them. Actually, wait, did I turn on Shuffle Magic Beans? I can't remember. Oh, I did. So I actually can't buy Magic Beans from him. Alright. Well, folks, we're gonna go over to the frogs. If we play the Song of Storms, they actually might just complete the seed for us. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. All right. All right. What are we gonna get? That melody is so cool, Ribbit. Might as well get some money from them as well. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Wanna buy some magic Triforce pieces? Alright, folks. Where do you think I'll find the last Triforce piece? Also, do you think I'll find the final Triforce piece before I find the hook shot? Alright, buddy. Give me your mystery item. Alright! I do like it, Chomp Chomp. Okay. Well, this just opened up a lot of new locations. Time to make some cows happy. Also, we can now go to Gerudo Valley. And by extension, we might be able to go to Gerudo Training Grounds. That just opened up a whole bunch. Alright, well, we're going to start by going... Horse for sale! 60 rupees, that's a bargain. <laughs> he's not selling the horse, he's just selling the song that can summon a horse. It's the song that you play to earn the horse's loyalty. <laughs> Alright, well, are we going to milk the last piece of the Triforce from a cow? Maybe get a hook shot? I actually have a feeling that the last Triforce piece is going to take a while to find. There's just something that tells me that's going to happen. Come on. Navi, lock on to the cow, so I know... Alright, can I just do this? 
I thought Navi had to be hovering over it before it'll give you milk. Or whatever it gives. Never mind. Okay, we milked arrows out of that cow's udders. Pretty normal farm stuff. Alright, we finally got the hook shot. So close. So close to finishing the seed without it. Alright. <laughs> Where do you guys think I'll find the last Triforce piece? I'm guessing it'll be in the Forest Temple. Because there's ten extra Triforce pieces, it's kind of hard to say. It's hard to say if we're, like, at the very end of the seed, or if there's still, like, a decent ways to go. Because for all we know, the last eleven could all be in Ganon's castle. Very unlikely, but possible. Boop, 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 boop. One of you cows has the, pe the power of the gods, I just know it. Jeez, those cow's eyes, man. Kinda creepy. Kind of creepy. Double magic! It's not every day you milk that much magic out of a cow. Alright. <laughs> so there's the cow at the bottom of Gerda Valley. There's the cow in Impa's house. There's the cow that appears in your house, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to grab that. There's the cow in the grotto up Death Mountain uh, Trail. There's the cow underneath the Megaton Hammer Grotto, which we can't reach. I'm gonna go... Mm. I think all the remaining cows except for the Gerdo Valley one we can get as an adult. And at this point, now that I have the hookshot, I'd rather explore some other things as an adult. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, hook shot. At last, you are mine. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to Kakariko. We can get the guy on the roof, and we can also get the cow in the house. After that, I think I might attempt Forest Temple. Forest Temple's got a lot of stuff there. We might find a Triforce piece. Maybe one of these cows we can milk money from. Here I am, to save the day. <laughs> Impa, there's a cow in your house, and I want to make it... I want to make it happy. What if there's just a random cow in this house? Wow! Ocarina of Time. <laughs> that cow had the, the royal family's sacred treasure. <laughs> Zelda entrusted this cow with the royal family's treasure. I believe that.
All right. Man on the roof had the power of the gods. <laughs> you. <laughs> Curse you, man on the roof. <laughs> wow. Wow, we've, we've barely visited any of the dungeons. That's incredible. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> yeah. Why so mad, bro? I don't even know who this guy is. I never saw him in the seed. <laughs> what do you mean the Triforce? I have all of the Triforce pieces. Actually, I think we were just collecting the Triforce of Courage. Well, that was a lot easier and more manageable than my last Triforce Hunt seed. I'll say that. <laughs> so we actually did need the hook shot to get that. Do do do. Hey, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Artie. You're welcome, Zelda. Also, I don't really know who you are. I think I saw you once in the entire seed. <laughs> Feels like we skipped half the world in that. So that's interesting. Um, I don't think I like Triforce Hunt quite as much as I like the normal randomizer, but it is fun to do. It is nice that you can do the whole seed in one sitting. I mean, it's possible I can do a regular seed in one sitting, but that's a substantial amount of time, so... I, I like... I like being able to sh stream in smaller bursts while still completing the seed in one go. So I guess that was fun. I still think that Majora Randomizer might be my favorite. Now, that and this are both really high up there. Another randomizer I'm interested to try is apparently there's an Oracle of Seasons and Ages randomizer, which I might want to try in the future. But in the meantime, I think starting next week we'll start a new stream series. I'll have to figure out which one it's going to be. But thanks for everyone for coming out. This is a lot of fun. I, I'm glad that I actually ha <laughs> was able to do a Triforce Hunt in a more manageable amount of time, so... I have only two under my belt, but now I think I have a decent idea of what these generally entail. It's fun! I would do this occasionally, but I think for the most part I'll stick to the normal randomizer seeds. Alright, I'm gonna say I'll sign off there. I got some other stuff to do today. Thank you all for watching, this was a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys tune in for Monday and Wednesday streams, those are always fun. And we'll start a new series uh, a week from now, so... Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.